Larry Roulette, the son of Carl Roulette, who was a sergeant in the Air Force. And my dad and I's relationship was, I can't say it was an excellent relationship, but it was a, it was a good relationship. We never had any big problems or anything. It was, it was in the late 80s and I was talking to my dad. We were out in his shop and we kind of got into a conversation about it then. And that's when he let me know that he was, that he had been on the cleanup crew that went out to pick up the crash site in 1947. So we kind of got into it. You know, he didn't want to really, you, know, you had to pry things out of him and it was hard to do, but I don't, he was sick back then too, I believe. So I don't know. It's, uh, but he told me about the, the grays. So they got out there and then turned around and all of a sudden there was three of them laying there. You know. So they bundled them up and took them back to the dispensary on the base. After they, they got out here and they found out they were in over their heads out here, they flew them to Dallas-Fort Worth. And then from there they went to the Little Pentagon, which is Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. He told me it would be best if I didn't tell anybody. And then he said, you know, that the government had told them when this incident happened that this, the government had come to them or gathered them all up, the ones that was out there, and told them, that they were not to say anything about this, and they threatened them with their pensions, threatened them with their lives, threatened them with their families' lives. Word came out that they told them that it was a big desert out there and you could be put in places you'd never be found if you talked about it. Mm -hmm.